All right, I'm Jason Kirchner. I'm the district wildlife biologist based here out of Newport with Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. We are up here on, in the Sayuslaw National Forest on Elkhorn Ridge, where we have a good neighbor authority uh, meadow project for early successional meadows. A part of this project, we are monitoring bat usage. So we've placed a, a bat recording device to record um, bat activity in, in the evening. Hi, I'm Emily Van Wyk. I'm the Strategy Species Coordinator for the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife out of the Salem headquarters. Um, bat populations throughout North America are suffering extreme declines. Um, Oregon's been lucky so far. We don't have white nose syndrome that has been detected in the state, but it's a problem that's been cropping up all over the U.S. and is causing these incredible declines in species. Uh, there are a number of other threats that build on that as well that are a challenge for bat populations. Um, there's insect declines, there's habitat loss, there's uh, wildfires, there's forest fire suppression that creates different habitat types um, that aren't supporting the bat populations in the way that they historically were. And we're doing a little research project here on the mid coast. We've got a couple of um, meadow locations we've created with our partners with the uh, U.S. Forest Service. And we also have some control areas where we haven't created meadows yet, where we have bat monitors as well. And we have bat monitors in the late successional reserve, the older forests, um, to document um, the bat usage in each of the three habitat types. So we got early successional, we've got um, real brushy um, pre-meadow conditions, and then we've got uh, mature forest stands. So we're trying to determine what bat species are utilizing these areas. And if we create these early successional meadows to see if we're drawing in the game species, if we're drawing in the bat species, um, so we can better understand if creating these meadows is a good thing to do. All right, this is our bat acoustic monitoring data station. Um, this site is in a late successional reserve, older forest type on the uh, Sayuslaw National Forest. Let me, let me uh, describe some of the details here of what this does. Um, at the top is the microphone. So in the, um, an hour before sunset to an hour after sunrise, the, the box collects a record sound. So when a bat flies by, it's going to record its call. Each, each species of bat has its own unique call. So it's going to record that into this box. And in the box, we have the device that does all the recording. And that's right here and it's powered by a battery. Um, we are in a dark forest, but we are trying to use a solar panel to see if it'll keep the battery charged over time. And we also have a temperature um, probe here that'll keep track of the daily temperatures. So this is kind of a simple setup, but um, it works quite well and we're getting bat recordings on this system. So we'll be comparing um, bat calls in old growth forests, a late successional reserve forest, and um, early successional habitats like in our meadows. One thing that we're concerned about right now is North American bats um, being exposed to coronavirus. We've seen coronavirus crop up in certain other species, and so there is some concern that it is a virus that bats could be susceptible to, and we don't know the answer to that yet. There is ongoing work trying to figure out um, how vulnerable they might be to inf infection, and we're trying to be as cautious as possible. With all of those threats that are already on the board for bats, adding an additional one by introducing a virus like this to our North American bat populations could be um, absolutely devastating. So Oregon right now is um, trying to encourage folks to limit their exposure to bats and bats exposure to them. Right now we're seeing ourselves as a potential threat uh, to our bat populations, which we want to make sure stay healthy. Um, so if you do encounter a bat in your house, make sure that you are wearing uh, PPE to keep yourself and the bat safe or contact a professional in order to make sure that you're doing it in a safe way, both for you again and for that bat. Um, bats are an incredible part of our ecosystem. Um, they provide ecosystem services from controlling insect populations. They help out agriculture. They are just this incredible resource that we have that we don't understand well. Uh, because they fly at night, they're really poorly understood, um, but they're super cool. And I, I think folks should, you know, 
take some time, read about bats to see why they're cool and see what they can do to help conserve them.